examples of long-term stress can be health problems, ongoing problems at work, conflicts in your relationships. So long-term stress can harm your health. Recent reports from published sources indicated that as a result of the pandemic, there has been a rise in digital communication. And of course, this rising digital communication has also affected the workers for now. We know that rising digital communication is not something that we can do away with. And so we have to learn ways to manage and to cope with that. We know that stress can last a long time if we don't manage it. And long-term stress is caused by stressful situations or events. Examples of long-term stress can be health problems or ongoing problems at work and conflicts in your relationships. So long-term stress can harm your health. If we keep experiencing stress and if we don't manage it well, it can become moderate stress. And these are symptoms of moderate stress where you experience bodily sensations like maybe tensions, maybe cold hands, restlessness, muscle tension. And if this moderate stress is not managed, it can become severe stress. And this is a lot more complicated. You know, we might experience chest pain, high blood pressure, heart palpitation, so on and so forth. So one of the hardest questions to answer when we are not feeling great is, how are you? And depending on who is asking and how well we know them and where we are, we will say something different. And it is sometimes too easy just to brush off what is going on with us and just reply, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. In fact, when we are not okay, we are supposed to be okay. So why is stress reduction important? We know that it is impossible to avoid stress completely. But yet, it is still important that when we experience stress, it is important that we want to look at ways to reduce stress. So our body cannot be relaxed and stressed at the same time. So these are some of the strategies here. We need to increase the awareness of the body, body's reaction to perceived stress. So in other words, we need to notice the bodily sensation that we are experiencing. And having a sound knowledge of our mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-beings that are associated with stress. Mm-hmm.